It looks like it's gonna rain. There are a lot of clouds in the sky. Hay muchas nubes en el cielo. You're welcome, Juanita, but you have to be more careful in this weather. It's bad weather today. Hace mal tiempo. I know. I think I better go home before it starts to rain. Yes, you better. We'll see if tomorrow is sunny. Si mañana hace sol. Then we can go play in the park. That would be great. Thank you, Diego, for bringing me back my hat. Amigos, I am sure you will like today's lesson. First, let's see what the weather will be like. Oh, nuevos amigos, do you know what time it is now? It is time to learn the verb for the day. Let me get the canasta de los frijoles mágicos and let's find out what our verb is. The verb for the day is nadar. Nadar. Nadar means to swim. Let's say the verb one more time. Nadar. A, E, I, O, U. Hola, señorita Garcia. ¿Cómo está? Estoy muy bien, gigante. ¿Y cómo estás tú? Muy bien, señorita Garcia. I see you have learned the verb for the day, which is nadar, to swim. I want all my Nuevos Amigos to say the verb with me just one more time. Nadar. Nadar. Good job, boys and girls. Gigante, can you help us by using the verb nadar in a sentence? I would love to, because I love to swim, especially in the summer. Me gusta nadar en el verano. Me gusta nadar en el verano. I like to swim in the summer. Now you say it, Señorita Garcia. Me gusta nadar en el verano. That is a great sentence, Gigante. I like to swim in the summer too. It's really hot during the summer. Hace mucho calor. Let's repeat the sentence one more time. Me gusta nadar en el verano. Thank you, Gigante. Adiós. Adiós, Señorita Garcia. Adiós, boys and girls. <laughs> okay, boys and girls. Now we can sing our theme song with the verb nadar. And do you remember the sentence? Claro que sí. Me gusta nadar. En el verano. Enjoy the theme song, nuevos amigos.
Today, boys and girls, now that we know what the weather is like, we are going to learn the four seasons of the year in Spanish. You know each season has different weather. Don't forget to write the names of the seasons in your notebooks, nuevos amigos. Remember that the names of the seasons are never capitalized in Spanish. The first season is spring, and you know why I like spring so much? Because the snow has melted and all the flowers are coming out. Hmm, how do you say spring in Spanish? La primavera. Let's repeat that, nuevos amigos. La primavera. La primavera, spring. I know what your favorite season is, nuevos amigos. It's summer. <laughs> El verano. You get to do all sorts of fun stuff, like play with your friends all day and swim. Nadar. Do you like to swim in the summer? I know you do. What is summer called in Spanish? Hmm, that's right. El verano. El verano, summer. Did you write that down? You don't want to forget El verano, do you? The next season is also fun because we have Halloween and Thanksgiving. And I don't know about you, nuevos amigos, but I love the pumpkin pie you get during fall. El otoño. El otoño. Fall. Let's say it again, nuevos amigos. El otoño. El otoño. Fall. <laughs> In our next season, you can't swim because it's cold. Hace frío. We have snow and sometimes ice. And we always wear a jacket so we don't get cold. Do you know what that season is, nuevos amigos? That's right, it's winter, el invierno. This one's a little hard, so let's say it again. El invierno, el invierno, winter. Now let's review the seasons of the year one more time. <laughs> Spring comes first from March to May. La primavera es la primera de marzo a mayo. Then comes summer from June to August. Después viene el verano de junio a agosto. It's followed by fall from September to November. Va seguido de otoño de septiembre a noviembre. And last we have winter from December to February. Por fin tenemos el invierno de diciembre a febrero. Can you tell me what the four seasons of the year are, nuevos amigos? First comes spring. Primero es, hmm, that's right, la primavera. Then comes summer. Luego viene el, hmm, el verano. After summer comes fall. Después del verano viene el otoño. <laughs> yeah, and after fall, we have winter. Después del otoño, tenemos hmm, el invierno. Well done, nuevos amigos. <laughs> Would you like to learn a song about the seasons of the year? I'm so glad you learned the seasons of the year. Now we can learn to describe the weather in each of the seasons. Please make sure that you write, that's escribir, muy bien amigos, the ways to describe the weather in your Spanish journals so you can remember them and use them in a conversation later. These are some helpful words. Our first word is nubes. Las nubes, which means clouds. Did you write that down, nuevos amigos? Muy bien. Our next word is el sol. El sol, the sun. Then we have el viento. El viento, the wind. 
Now we can learn to describe the weather. Hace calor. Hace calor. It's hot. And when it's hot, it's usually sunny. Hace sol. Hace sol. And when there are nubes cl and, or clouds in the sky, sometimes it's cold. Hace frío. Hace frío. When it's rainy and cold, it's bad weather. And you say, hace mal tiempo. Hace mal tiempo. Sometimes, o cuando hace mal tiempo, it's also windy. Hace viento. But when it's sunny and warm, hace buen tiempo. It's good weather. Hace buen tiempo. So, nuevos amigos, ¿qué tiempo hace? What's the weather like? Is it sunny? ¿Hace sol? Or is it windy and cold? O hace viento y hace frío. Hola, nuevos amigos. Let's spin the globe and see what country we land on. Dale, 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 no pierdas el tino, mide la distancia, ya hay en el camino. We're in South America, in the rainforest. You can find the rainforest, which is a jungle, mostly in the countries of Venezuela, Colombia, and Brazil. Although, parts of the rainforest are in Bolivia, too. This area is very special because you can find a lot of animals and plants living there that are not found in any other part of the world. Can you hear some of them now? Oh. Another special thing you find in South America is the rain stick, el palo de lluvia. It's supposed to sound like the rain you hear when you are in the forests. Listen, escucha. These sticks are used in ceremonies to bring rain when it hasn't rained for many days. Rain sticks are made from the skeletons of a quisco or copada cactus. There are a lot of these in the Atacama Desert of northern Chile. The copada cactus lives to be 60 to 70 years old. When they die and dry out, they become the wood skeleton, which is called the normata. The native people harvest the normata, hollow it out, and fill it with small volcanic ash pebbles. Then small nails are driven through the trunk like you see here. In a spiral formation, goes around in a spiral formation, just like you see here, all the way up, creating a unique sound of water as the pebbles fall slowly when the cactus is turned upside down, like this. <sighs> oh, don't forget, learning about other cultures helps you to better understand the world we live in. I had never been in the jungle before. It was a great experience. And I learned how important it is to preserve it so we can always have such a variety of animals and plants. Now that you know where the rain stick comes from, nuevos amigos, would you like to learn how to make your own rain stick? Claro que sí. Here's a list of the things you will need. Cardboard tubes in a variety of sizes like toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls, gift wrapping rolls, or mailing tubes. Construction paper in different colors, scotch tape, toothpicks, glue, scissors, decorations to glue on the rain stick, such as leaves, twine, shells, yarn, sand, etc. Objects to put inside the rain stick, like rice, black beans, lentils, and etc. Anything else you might want to put in there. The first step is to find a paper roll tube. Next, you will make tiny holes with the sharp instrument. This is a compass that I think everyone has in their classroom. You punch a hole through one, one side, and then you turn it around on the opposite side and punch in another hole. 
Then you insert your toothpick through one hole and go all the way across and insert it into the other side. Okay? So here we have the toothpicks that I've made. I've already done this. And I've, I've tried to take alternate, like do one on one side, then change it around and do it on the other side. Now, now that you've done this, you are going to cut out a circle to, to plug in or plug this side of your tube. And what I've done is I've, now I have my circles here. Actually, I have two circles. You're going to need two circles. And uh, since I've already used green paper, or this lime green paper, that's the color I'm going to use. But I'm showing you that what I've done and is here is my paper roll. And then I've extended this circle about two inches, one to two inches. It looks about one inch here. And you may make, make it a little larger if you'd like. Then that's how I've made my circle. And of course, amigos, I've used my compass to make this circle. Now what I've done is I've cut out this circle. So I cut this out I will, because I will need two circles, for one for each side. Now I'm only going to plug one side or cover one side of my tube, okay? So as you can see, amigos, I have done this with the tube, turned it over, and then I covered it just like this. Now I've already done this and then I've covered it with tape, okay? Just to secure it all the way around. Actually, I've, I've actually put two or three layers of it to make sure it stays, all right? Because you don't want everything to fall out, okay? And I've really put a lot of tape on there, all right? Now, what you can do is since you've sealed this, now what you can do is you can start filling your tube with, here I have lentils, rice, and black beans, okay? So now all I've done is I've started pouring in here. And I'm going to go ahead and pour the whole amount in there. And then I'm adding rice. And you can add as much or as, or as little as you want until you hear the sound that you want it to make. And I'm adding black beans. Okay, and some fell over, and we'll just move them here to the side. And so then you check to see if it's a sound that you want. To me, it sounds good, okay, because I've, I've done this before, and I, that's the sound that I was looking for. So now I have my circle, my pre-cut circle, and I'm going to close it, all right? So now I use my scotch tape to close it. Okay, just like this. And you just go all the way around taping it, making sure it's nice and secure because you don't want any of your uh, beans and rice and lentils to fall out. Okay, so you just keep going all the way around, making sure it's nice and secure go and I'm going to do it uh, there's a little piece here right there okay and just make sure it's nice and flat go over it with your fingers and then go over it one more time all right and because you want it to stay on really well okay so you just keep going around taping it there we go the more the better, amigos. <laughs> All right. Now, the next step that I did was I flattened out these toothpicks. Okay? So what I did was I folded that over so it doesn't poke and then poke me and then I taped it down. All right? So I did the same thing with this one. I just actually broke it and taped it just like that. So when I cover it, I have a smooth finish, all right? So here you see what I've done. I've done that. I've taped all of these down so that I'll have a smooth finish, all right? And you just keep doing it one at a time, all right? Now that you've done this, 
what you are going to do is decorate. You're going to decorate your rain stick. So, this is where you can really have fun, amigos. You can enjoy uh, designing. Um, as you can see, I have two different designs. All right, I have, uh, this is actually, I reproduced, this is exactly the same one that's on my rain stick here, Palo de Lluvia. And I have um, my, uh, let me turn this around. Okay, I have my, the, the, the boa constrictor. I have the green frog on the leaf. I looked up different animals in the different rainforest books that I had. And I just recreated a scene and I cut them out and I have a pattern for my flower. And I just glued them. Used my glue and just glued them on here. All right, and then here's my bow constrictor, and I just glued it on here, and you can select or decorate it any way you want to, amigos. I just decided that that's what I wanted to do. So you just keep gluing all of these different beautiful designs that you might want to come up with, and as you can see, I then covered my rain stick with it, and look at the sound. Ah, isn't that wonderful? Can you hear the rain? And really the key is to keep the designs simple and repeat patterns and colors. So that's what I try to do here. Here are the simple designs and patterns. Now here's another totally different design that I really liked. So we have the puma, or the tiger, from the rainforest. And I have leaves, and you can create anything you want. Oh, it sounds great. Now you can bring the rain into your neighborhood by moving your rain stick. Oh, nuevos amigos. Oh, my gosh. Stay dry, nuevos amigos. I hope you learned a lot in today's lesson. We learned the verb for the day, nadar, to swim. We also reviewed the four seasons of the year, la primavera, Spring, el verano, summer, el otoño, fall, and el invierno, winter. We also learn how to ask what the weather's like. ¿Qué tiempo hace? And how to respond. ¿Hace sol? ¿Hace calor? ¿Hace frío? ¿Hace mal tiempo? ¿Hace buen tiempo? And ¿Hace viento? We also learn the words las nubes, el sol, and el viento. Remember, when we learn a new language, we also make new friends. Adios!